Guess what today is? It's Super Crochet Lady Day. Woo! Hi everybody. It's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. A lot to be thankful for this day. I've got my Super Crochet Sunday bag. I will show you my works in progress in just a moment. All right, coming in for a landing. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Let me scoot up. Okay. Hello, everyone. How you doing this beautiful Sunday? I have a lot to share with you today, so let's get right to it. Now, first of all, tomorrow, remember, your chapters to read will be Matthew chapters 1 through 3. I'm excited about starting another new week. All right. Ah, where to start? Okay, this is what I want to talk about today. The long shadow of love. Mm. Ah, when I think back to when my kids were really little, and my grandkids especially, I made quilts for them when they were little. I was into quilting quite a bit. I made hats. I made hats for Michaela every year until she got about 18. Uh, that was fun seeing the expression on her face every year. I've made over 50 pillowcases. I made matching pillowcases and blankets to match, the fleece blankets to match, scarves, hats, fingerless mittens, well received, cowls. I made a beautiful granny square afghan for my granddaughter, Michaela, and I made a great big corner to corner for my daughter and her husband using two strands of yarn. Let me tell you, by the time I got done with that puppy, it was heavy. <laughs> and this past winter, I made my daughter a pocket shawl. Turned out really pretty. So yeah, when I think over my life and the long shadow of love, wow. I can take joy in the fruit of my labor of my hands. Uh, what wonderful memories. My daughter still talks about those pillowcases. Mom, you know, I still got a lot of those pillowcases. Well, I said, well, good. <laughs> she saves everything. She's big on memorabilia within the family. And... She has a lot of things that she hasn't let go of. And that's good because those are the things memories are made out of. Well, that got to me to thinking. What shadow of love am I leaving to portray Christ in my life? Mm, let me think. Well... I'm very loving and caring. I'm a great encourager. I really like to listen to people. I am ready to help anybody at any time if they need prayer, help with groceries, their laundry, whatever the need is, I try to meet whatever the Lord lays at my feet to do. And recently, we ran across Emily and Amanda. Remember, I made um, the Granny Square scarf for her, um, for the mom and for the daughter. I made the pink and variegated uh, pink scarf and a little lovely elephant. Wow. When I look back over my life so far and see that long shadow of Christ's love that I'm leaving behind, you know, it's kind of like we talked about intimacy, intimacy. In to me see. My daughter does that very well. She sees deep inside me. And she knows what I like. And she knows favorite foods I like to eat. Places I like to go. She knows I love to collect yarn. Yes. Please. In to me see. In to me see. See my life. Christ working through me. See me, into me see that I walk daily by the Lord's side. I want people to look into me. See me. Do others really see you? 
Do they know your likes, your dislikes? Do they see you walking with Christ? Intimacy. I think that's very important as Christians. We need to have that intimacy relationship with ourselves, with others, and as we're working for the Lord. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that little devotional on the long shadow of love for others and for Christ. All right. I have something to share. All right, let me get this arranged. Okay. This here... This is Bulk Pokemon Cards. I think this, this row was first. Okay. This one says, Happy Winter from 2021. Now somebody in the wintertime left these cards in our Rochester Outdoor Library. People bring books and other things related to books or card games. And they get... This put them in there for other people to come and take what they want. The rule is that you should replace other things in it yourself so it keeps replenished. Well, somebody did this, these Pokemon cards, brand new, dice, everything, and a huge stack of Pokemon cards. Now, these are brand new, never been used. That's a pretty nice thing for somebody to do because these cards are not cheap. And also, in the winter, here's a sword and shield one. And these contain cards. And these contain cards. There's um, booster cards, all kind of neat things. So that was for winter. Well, Ron and I went out for our walk today. And I always go and look at, the, like, book library book thingy and sure enough somebody had put out spring I can't believe this here is it says bulk Pokemon cards happy spring somebody's spending a lot of money on this stuff it's amazing just the love that people are having but dice on open it's got little badges it's got all the cards why not only one of those but two. And again it says, Happy Spring. And these two big ones. Bulk Pokemon cards, Happy Spring. Look at that cute sticker. And there you can see inside. Again it has the card. All the dice and the pins and stuff. Now. Okay, and there were, like I said, there were two of these boxes. Now that's, I got thinking about that, and that's what got me thinking about the long shadow of love. Now somebody, out of the goodness of their heart, and wanting to bring happiness to someone, decided to put out Pokemon cards. And I'm going to make sure that these get to somebody that enjoys Pokemon, some kids. I'm sure kids still play it today. It was a, it's a very popular card game. These will definitely be passed on to a young person that is around people that play it on a regular basis. Isn't that something? Somebody cared enough to do this act of kindness, this expensive act of kindness. Wow. That just warms my heart when I see other people reaching out and doing kindnesses. This person has no idea who was going to get these. None at all. They didn't care. Anybody want them, take them. You're welcome. Well, thank you, whoever did this. Wow. All right. Now, I have several things to show you. Okay. Let's see what we got. Well, remember my... Okay. Remember my Tunisian crochet dishcloth? I was going to do different stitches. Well, <clears throat> it got kind of wonky and uneven. So, I took it back, and I'm just going to finish it out like this. I have been feeling real well today, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up like this and put my border around it. That will stop this curling. Now, in Tunisian crochet, that is completely normal. And But once you put the border on, everything flattens out really nice. So I'm going to be finishing up this one probably during the week. You'll see it finished probably next week. <clears throat> and, 
excuse me, let me get a sip of tea. Mm, that's better. Now, I started this um, puzzle square. Put that down there. Now, this is what it looks like. It's not quite squared off yet. I, I'm coming around. Let me see. Do, 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 do. All right, next thing I will attach in this corner and finish off this square, and then it will be square up here. That's the back. Here's the front. And then the last border will be all done in black. Now, the puzzle square that the Secret Yonder did was only these middle sections here, but I wanted to extend it out. Now, my idea is on these is to do the puzzle square in the center, there's going to be the granny heart square, and then these will be like around that center heart square, and then off of that, I'm going to keep doing maybe like a black, probably a black border with nice rainbow colors going around, like a row of rainbow colors, then the border, border, rainbow colors, and that's kind of my thing I've got going. Now, this is kind of my sample piece. <clears throat> I do want to try it in a bigger hook. This is made with a G hook. Now, there are a lot of ends, but I don't mind weaving in ends. And really, when you start getting out here, get my yarns, okay. When you start getting longer, it isn't so often that you're going to have to do it as much as you have to do the ends on here. But it's totally worth it. Uh, this is going to be a true labor of love for my grandson. <clears throat> I learned a valuable lesson making my other granny squares. I did not do a good job on weaving those ends in, and things were starting to fall apart. Yeah. All right. Lesson learned on that. So, yeah. This is kind of the idea. I may do another swatch and a bigger hook. I may like that better. I'll make that decision um, later in the week. I'm going to try it next as I finish up this one. Then I'm going to try it with a bigger hook. All right. And now the piece of resistance. Remember I told you I was on my second skein. Let me get it out here. Okay, here we go. Set that aside. Okay, where did we leave off? Okay, over here I left off. And this is how much I got done. Oh, goodness. Look at that. I am really liking this. Now, the only difference I did different from the pattern is I did in the back loop only, but on these corners right here, I did crochet three together like it says, but I did under both loops. And that gave me a pretty nice straight edge that doesn't curl much at all. So I like that modification. I think I'll use that when I make these. But this is one whole skein. I'm probably going to use a quarter or so of the next one. Let me see. I haven't tried it on in a while. Yeah, it's definitely going to need some more. Not much. Let me see. Yeah, it's going to need maybe this much more from here to here. But isn't this going to be a beautiful spring wrap for her? Oh, I just think it's so pretty. Look at those stitches. Let me, let me get up here closer. Okay, look at that. way for you. I mean, look at those stitches. Isn't that beautiful? And I did find out that on some of them, you see you have a whole row of the flowered and then the next row up, it stopped and the color changed. So um, that's okay because I went back and looked at cinnamon and stitches and that hers turned out that way too. So yeah, I'm really thinking that it's coming along very nicely. Even though this may look like a single crochet row, it's not. It's a double crochet. It's, it's how the indentation makes it look that way. 
But let me know what you think about this. I think it is gorgeous. And again, this is the Bloom Yarn. It's 656 yards. It's made by Premier. It's made in Turkey. It's anti-peeling, which is nice. My first time really working in the uh, three-weight yarn. I've never used it before. Well, actually, I have used it. I have a scarf going somewhere with it in it. I'm going to finish up a corner-to-corner -corner scarf. And it's coming along rather nice, too. I don't know why I didn't finish it. It didn't have that much um, more to do on it. But I need to get that finished, too. I have a lot of whips going on, but I'm getting them done. All right. You know, I think that's it for today. I hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday. Uh, Ron and I are going to um, retire in a little bit, and we're going to listen to Pastor Greg Locke's sermon for today. We really enjoy listening to him, and it's nice because we can sit back and relax and listen. I usually crochet while I'm listening. It relaxes me, and that's always a nice time for us. All right, everyone. This is Susanna God Crochet and Chatter. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. My new subscribers, you're most welcome here at God, Crochet, and Cheddar, where we put God first, crochet, and then we like to talk. And Sundays is our day that we talk more about crochet and things that are going on. All right, let's sign off with our numbers 6, 24 through 36. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now, I am trying to write this out every day so that I remember it. I put it on a, a card, made it nice and colorful. And if I keep writing it out over and over, remember when you were in school and you had to write, I will not talk like a billion times? <laughs> kind of that idea. All right, everyone. I love you all. This is Suzanne on God Crochet and Chatter. I will see you tomorrow, Lord willing, on God Crochet and Chatter. Bye, everyone. Love you.